G'day, I'm Shane, and we're in the middle of an epic family road trip across Japan. But this morning, we're taking the water road. We're on a car ferry to Kyushu. Everyone I come and we should have fun. La 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 la. Everyone I come and we must have fun. We've had an interesting little morning. We've um, went and had some coffee, which was lovely. And then we've driven to Yawatahama, which is where the ferry port is. So we've left Matsuyama and driven to Yawatahama, which is about an hour and 20 minutes. And then we've arrived at the ferry terminal and then driven on the boat. So in about two and a half hours, we'll be in Kyushu, a new island. So we're heading to Takachiho, which is um, where there's a gorge and some other natural beauty, as we're going to say, in a, a rear car. So it should be good. La, 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 la. Everyone I come on me, should have fun. La, 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 la. Everyone I come on me, must have fun. Every day we say that things is hard. Yes, we know that things really hard. Due to how no money now run. But come along. We've been on the ferry for over an hour, and the whole time we've been following this narrow business. <laughs> Uh, that juts out of Shikoku and points directly at Yusugi where we're heading. And uh, we're just coming to the end of this long, long isthmus. isthmus. So that means we've got about an hour to go across open ocean where the, the swell is just building. As you can see behind me, it's just, it's like a typhoon. Interestingly, this little seating area that we've got here that we've commandeered is, um, one of the only two second class seating areas. All the other areas are basically tatami mat rooms. So um, there's room for people to spread out and do the tatami mat thing. So yeah, it's interesting. Come, Miss Tourist, come. Come, Miss Tourist, come. I think Jetstar or JL or ANA have to seriously figure out how to put one of these things on an aeroplane. Wanna come on, we must have fun. Come, Miss Tourist, come. Come, Miss Tourist, come. Kyushu! Okay, for the announcements and all the people rushing around, we've either one, hit the iceberg and we're sinking, or we have to go downstairs to the cars and Dad. leave. Yusuki after we got off the ferry for about an hour and a half and um, yeah a bit tired and weary it's uh, catching up with me but so we've decided to stop just stretch our legs at the end of the tollway and there's a, a roadhouse or some shops and stuff here but there's also um, these EV charge quick charge points which are charges for electric vehicles and they're just about everywhere you'd have absolutely no trouble getting around Japan in an electric car, that's for sure. So it's mostly fruit and veg in this little supermarket at the roadside stop. And it's all really good for produce, especially the oranges. We just bought a bag of little oranges, she called them. And they're about they 500 yen. Like. These are what they look like. Little oranges. <laughs> and they, they're quite delicious. Oh, see me soon. anything apart from the um, little oranges but we've also bought some uh, little sweet treats and mochi and things like that you can't go past mochi it's just ooh, that's a bit dry that's better yeah there's always so much to choose from so we just got a couple of little things to snack on the way because we've got a whole hour to go we even got gotcha pon <sighs> gotcha pon i'm so yes. over gotcha pon and a minion 
uh, Minion. We're on our way to Takachiho now. Uh, that was our last little stop before then. Um, we'll just eat all the mochis and stuff before we get there. We had about six hours of travelling today. It was two hours to get to the ferry, and the ferry was two, over two hours. Then it was another two hours to drive to here at Takachiho Gorge. But now we're just wandering through town, and we're just going, going to find a steak place. We need some meat to revitalise everything. When you come to a new town, if in doubt, go to the place with the big cow out the front. Two big cows. Two big two cows. cows. These are the two cows we were talking about at the front. And if you can get the cow, and Dad will show you the cows a, a little like clip of the cow's face or something. This place is called Nagomi, and it's a steak restaurant, obviously. That's why there's two big cows out the front. Mm -hmm. And I'm better. Yes, we're going to cook the barbecue at the table. Go for the place with the cows out the front because you cannot go wrong. That was some of the best beef you can ever have. This region is known for it. The Miyazaki region is known for its beef. Very, very good beef. Chiho Gorge. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've come here to walk along the gorge and just check out the beautiful natural scenery but there's also some rental rowboats so we're going to try our hand at that and paddle down the gorge a little bit. Now this little beauty is the Menai Waterfall. It's probably, it's listed in Japan's top 100 waterfalls. It is quite a beautiful little waterfall. And we're just going to go down and grab on those little boats at some point. spot for a mochi break, which is what we're having right now, isn't it, Shell? Having a mochi? Mm, look, at, look at that. Whoa, she's loving it. Mochis! Yeah, Brady's having his mochis as well. <laughs> mochi with walnut miso sauce, and it's quite sweet and delicious. Mm. Mm. Sticky goodness. Yeah. 
very cool. It's uh, a spring festival that is happening here in Tekahitio Gorge and uh, we didn't expect it to come straight to us so we were here just as they came and did some ceremony in the creek or in the, in the pond there. I uh, couldn't speak earlier because it was really, really noisy. Uh, you can believe how loud these dram drums and gongs are. But it was pretty cool to be here when all this was just happening. So yeah, it was a very nice coincidence to be here just as the cultural festival was happening. And it's a spring festival. Beautiful day today. This is probably the warmest day we've had. It's around about 20 degrees. So the further south we've gone, the warmer it's got. So beautiful and a wonderful experience. Day and night, wanna be alright. Happy, I want to be lovely, lovely, lovely. When planning something like going rowing and there's a limited number of boats and they're out for half an hour, don't turn up at about the same time as a couple of bus loads of tourists because you might have to wait a little while. This is hilarious. There are uh, people who don't know how to row, like me, and um, there's other people who shouting instructions from the sidelines. It's just really, really funny. Really, really. I want to be happy. <laughs> So I'm going backwards. So yeah, we're in, we're in the gorge. We've just gone under the waterfall. Not under the waterfall, literally, because we'd be really wet and cold. But we're just rowing up and down this little bit of the gorge here, and it's very lovely. We've got half an hour with busloads of tourists with us, and they're just going to crash into us again right now. Oh, did crash? Oh, holy, holy heck, it didn't crash into us this time. It's like dodging's in boats at the moment, so um, we're spinning around. I don't know how hard work it is to roll a boat. An idyllic river rowboat ride. How idyllic. Oh god, that was hard work. I'm not sure I want to do that again. <laughs> One thing about having a thirst in Japan, there's literally a vending machine around every corner and I am so thirsty right now. Um, right here. Let's have a water. Bing. Cold water, ready to go. Down these bamboo shoots really fast. 
and then you have the ketchup and then the sober noodles, you just dip them, you have them cold. It's pretty cool. It's really cool. Apparently this is the original sermon noodle shop um, from 1955, I think. They've got another couple of shops around the place, but this is the original apparently. Um, and it's really good. These are the best sober noodles, like cold noodles, with the dipping the sauce and lots of stuff I've had. I really like it. And the kicker is the, um, the, the shoot of cold noodles coming down the bamboo shoot. Oh, and I saw any. Hmm? I catch one Look at my bowl. Brady got a full bowl. He's been catching it. This is where you had that uh, spring festival earlier on and what happens they bring a portable shrine here called a omikoshi and that's taken around the island three times to purify them. Um, the original shrine that used to be here used to be served by cormorant birds but that was a long long time ago apparently. So yeah we were lucky enough to be here on the day that the purification ceremony actually happened so as you can see there's no one here now. Just, just me and the family and a few other wandering people and some fish. There are some weird fish, there's a weird, there's a weird fish in there. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look like any of the other uh, koi or carp in there. So, but it looks very coelacanth. It looks really reptilian, old. It sometimes pays to read the signs. Dan, I was feeding fish today. <laughs> We're gonna feed fish, yes. We're gonna feed the fish, but it's a vestal sturgeon. It's a sturgeon. Well, I've never, actually, I don't think I've ever seen one in real life before. So there you go. A vestal sturgeon. <laughs> and Georgia's name Georgia is Georgia. Ice cocoa. Yeah. And Georgia can come out with It's a Georgia ice cocoa. Yeah. What's it taste like, Georgie? Um, I actually haven't tried it yet. I'll try it. <laughs> it actually tastes pretty good. It tastes a little sugary too. I like it. Sometimes when you come to a shrine, you've got to check the time to make sure that you don't turn up at like five to five when it closes at five o'clock. But oh well, we might come back tomorrow. But apparently this shrine is where eight million gods met to discuss the dropping of a rock or opening of a gate or something. Maybe I should do more research. Kyoto 
we went to the Inari Gates and it was absolutely chock a block, full of Zabu, too many people. Um, but we found a couple of little gates here, not many, probably half a dozen or so. They go up the hill, so it's heaps less crowded and probably not as pretty. Well, it actually, no, it's pretty. These Inari are set in a bamboo forest, they're not bamboo or wooden Inari, they look like they're made of steel or iron or something, so they're a bit rusty and old. But and pant all day but it's a pretty little spot Chiho, and um, we're just going to have some local specialties like so udon and rice and there's, other things. There's like actually that. marathon like papers everywhere. Yeah. Like Dad will try and show you them in the end, but we'll put them right every now. time I hear a phrase. My mother used to say to me, everything happens. For a reason, I get the feeling I need a little taste of home, 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 just a little taste of home. I need a little taste of home, home, home. I need a little taste of home. Nothing like kitchen conversation. Steam coming up off the stove Photographs down the staircase Showing our stories unfold And every time I hear a song My father used to sing to me 